today's video, we're taking a look at the all new Hover Air X1 Pro Max. Now, this is Hover Air's brand new 8K drone that's redefined aerial photography as well as personal videography. Now, today we're going to unbox the drone itself, but also Hover Air sent some accessories for me to try. One of those being the all new beacon, which I'm really excited to get out of the box and give it a try. But we're going to go ahead and quickly get into it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. Alright, so we have the beacon, power case, carrying bag. We have Hover Air Pro Max. Do have an instruction manual. And we also have a um, carrying bag. And the last thing, we do have a USB-C to USB-C charger. Huge 65 watt charger, an extra battery, and we have the drone itself. Of course, this folds out. See the size there? Just a quick side by side comparison with the DJI Neo. All right, so a little bit bigger. Not by much, but of course, we'll do a comparison a little bit later. This is a two axis gimbal. We have sensors on the bottom. Vents. On the back, we also have a sensor camera. This is for obstacle avoidance. So again, nice size. I think this can easily fit in a pocket. But um, let's go ahead and we'll unbox the other accessories. All right, so next we have the actual carrying case. And um, this is a really nice bag. I'm a big fan. Compartment here. Uh, this is ideal for the drone. We we'll have a strap right here. And do have the straps for the bag itself. But they also provided some goodies, it looks like. So ND filters. A nice little rag right here to wipe them off. Love that that was included. All right, so looks like we also have a magnetic adapter for the actual joystick bundle, so that's pretty cool. This actually has a clip. This one actually has the GoPro style mount on there. So you can actually do it like that. You can screw it into your regular mount, but also has a quarter 20 on the bottom. Last thing we have is a handlebar mount. Um, screw on right there, screw that in. But this part comes over here and then this locks against your handlebar. Pretty cool, like I said, you can fit your accessories in this bag. But one of the features that I don't see a lot of people talking about about this bag is that this actually opens up bottom you can see it screws in you can see it just zips in and then this part actually opens up guys pretty freaking cool all right so with this I guess you can mount it on a saddlebag on a handlebar or something like that but I love the flexibility of this bag so I also have a power case for this and um, this is gonna not only charge the drone but also protect it also um, keeps it warm, so pretty cool. So uh, it does have a built-in battery. It can charge your drone two and a half times, I believe. Let's go ahead and open it up. It does have the USB-C port right there for charging. And this part opens up. You can see, you do have a, another strap inside here for the actual case itself, so pretty cool. And we do have a manual as well. Um, but you can see it does have charging points right there underneath. Slide the drone in this part like this. Close it. 
All set. So overall impression out of the box, the Avair X1 Pro just gives the premium feel. It's lightweight, it's foldable. The beacon and power case just promise to enhance your flight and make sure you're ready for your next adventure. Now, as far as some of the key features, this is going to come with a one and one third CMOS 60 millimeter wide angle lens. Now, with this wide angle lens, you're going to get a field of view of 104 degrees or 170 degrees, depending which one of these drones you pick up. Now, with this settings for the Pro Max, which I'm demoing today, it is going to record in 1080p as well as 4K, but it also records up to 8K at 30 frames per second. As I mentioned earlier, this also has a two axis gimbal, but it's also is paired with electronic image stabilization and horizon leveling so this is not only going to keep your footage smooth but also when you turn or move the drone around the horizon is going to remain level so the pro max is designed to keep up with you no matter what activity you're doing so now this has a follow speeds up to 26 miles per hour and can continue tracking and short bursts up to 37 miles per hour now the pro max does have up to a 15 minute flight time which is a lot longer than the original x1 and unlike DJI Neo, this can fly over water as well as different terrain. The weight of this drone is 192 grams, which is under FAA regulation. Certified Wi-Fi 6, and this is going to give you fast transfer with speeds up to 1.2 gigabits per second. So this also comes with 64 gigs of internal storage, but this is expandable via the micro SD slot up to 1 terabyte. Both the X1 Pro as well as the Pro Max has the rare time of flight proximity sensors while the Pro Max sports an additional visual sensor to keep you even safer. Now both of these are going to support braking for collisions and speeds up to 1.5 meters per second or up to about three and a half miles per hour. So once activated the Hover Air X1 Pro Max is a very easy to use intuitive device. Here's how you get started. So first you power on the device you're going to have a digital screen this is going to display the different flight modes as well as parameters to switch between the different flight modes all you need to do is do a short press to the left or right it will make an audible sound or tell you what flight mode you are and you can go through all of them just to select which one that best fits you you can change the parameters within the drone itself as well so for instance if i'm on hover i can go ahead and do a long press either the left or right button and that will allow me to change the distance and different parameters for each flight. Once we get into the application, you can see that you have more options to customize and tailor your experience. So flying the drone is pretty straightforward. First, you're gonna power on the device, so hold and press the button for three seconds. Once you power the device on, you select your flight mode. Once you select your flight mode, point the camera towards your face and short press the button on the drone or you can use voice commands by saying hover take off and it will go ahead and take off to land you simply place your hand about 28 inches under the drone and it will automatically land and alternatively you can use the app again for manual landing returning your drone safely is simple with the return to home feature so to do that you will need to activate return to home in the application so go to your app tap on the return button in the x1 app during your manual control or long press the beacons function button and we'll get into the beacon here in a little bit now just a quick note the drone will automatically return when the battery is low during the return process it will fly in a straight line back to the takeoff point so be mindful of obstacles and manually adjust if necessary now confirm the altitude in the control settings to ensure navigation over obstacles so with all that said let's go ahead and take it for a spin and check out the different flight modes so the first one is going to be hover so hover sounds exactly how it is guys going to keep hovering in the same position after the takeoff now it will rotate to follow your movement and always keeping you in the middle of the shot this mode is essentially perfect for hands-free selfies group photos and as far as the different settings the different flight times are 30 seconds 60 seconds five minutes or continuous next we're going to have zoom out zoom out focuses on the target person and then backs up and elevates to reveal the panorama behind you. The zoom out mode gradually includes more of your surroundings for a dramatic effect. So ideal for capturing the vibe of a party, camping, or backyard barbecues or something similar. And as far as the distance on the settings, you have 10 feet, 20 feet, or 30 feet. Just ensure that you don't have obstacles in your path. 
Next, we're gonna add the follow, which is probably the most popular mode within this drone. Follow is gonna target the person, always keeping a person in frame. Now, after takeoff, this will back up to the distance that you set, and this will maintain that distance. It can follow you from the front or back up to 20 kilometers per hour. Now, the computer algorithms keeps you centered in the frame, and this is great for action photography, like running, cycling. For me, I was on the, the scooter that I'm testing out. So this is great for those moments. Next, we're gonna have orbit. Orbit is pretty self-explanatory. It orbits around the person at a configurable distance and radius. So this is one of those, again, that you wanna make sure that you clear from obstacle because going from side to side, there aren't any sensors if you get in trouble. So with orbit mode, it steadily orbits around the user. This is ideal for showcasing a location or objects like a new home or car. Now this supports different flight radiuses. So five feet, eight feet, 13 feet, as well as 20 feet. And with this, you can also adjust the height. On the bird's eye view, rises up vertically in a spiral. Now the camera points down, placing the person in a bird's eye scene, giving you a unique overview. Now this is suitable for recording a family or a group, combined with various shapes or actions. It also uses to capture distinctive landmarks or buildings or the height that people cannot reach. Now, as far as the settings, this supports shooting heights of 16 feet, 23 feet, 30 feet, or up to 50 feet. Next, we're gonna have Dolly Track. Now, Dolly Track, what I call is front follow, will maintain a fixed distance in front of you as you move towards the camera. So this is one of those advanced settings that you really have to practice because the camera is gonna follow you from the front. So you really have to guide where the camera goes. So for me, it did take some getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, you can kind of maneuver the camera without using the controllers. Again, just make sure you have the distance and you clear of obstacle. But once you get used to it, this is probably one of the best settings. Now, once this mode is done, just stay still for three seconds, at which point the hover will stop recording and following. Once it does that, just place your palm directly under the drone and it will land automatically. Now the last one is your side track. So side track is gonna move parallel sideways to the subject, just create a unique perspective. You have different settings. You can set it to follow close, mid or far, and it does have different altitude settings. So you can set it to low, flat, as well as high. So let's talk about the application. Now the Hover Air X1 app is a companion app for the Hover Air X1 Pro as well as the Pro Max. Now this allows users to control the drone, download content, as well as adjust settings of the drone. So let's start with how to download your videos. So once you connect the drone to the app, you will see the album cover. Now with this, you can preview your videos you have shot and download them very quickly. You can also use other methods to download your videos. So one of them is to use the USB-C data cable to connect directly to your computer. Another method, if you have an SD card that you're recording on, you can also just put that directly into your computer and transfer the video. So as far as your perimeters, in the top left corner of the Hover Air page, you can see the Hover Air's battery level as well as the storage. Now you can tap the hover settings button and select your different flight mode. So with this, you're gonna have the same modes that you have on your drone. And once you change them in the application, you'll also see them change into your drone itself. This also has a smart preview. And what that smart preview does is allows you to view your camera's live feed through your phone and this is a game changer. This is gonna allow you a lot more features such as flight height, frame rate, as well as some digital zoom settings. So pretty cool. So for the advanced users, there is a manual control as well. All you need to do is tap the camera button on the left and adjust your settings like your ISO, or your EV, as well as your shutter speed. Now in the manual control mode, you can also pilot the X1 Pro as well as Pro Max using a virtual joystick or directional buttons. Now with this, you can configure your settings by clicking the small gear icon in the top right corner. 
Now on the flight mode page, you can view details, adjust settings. You can tap create to use other special templates or make cool videos with just one click. So the Hover Air X1 app supports AI noise reduction for sound recording using your phone, your earbuds, microphone or the beacon and this automatically eliminates the propeller noise so with this you can choose between light and deep noise reduction in the application settings and let's listen to what different ones sound like so testing one two three so we're testing the microphone this is a normal noise reduction so let me know what you guys think what do you hear so here we are, this is extreme noise reduction. So this hopefully should bring out or cut out most of the propeller noise. So let me know in the comment section, is this better than the normal noise reduction? Or is this something that you should probably just turn off and get your audio in other ways? All right, so let me know what you guys think of the uh, audio quality. Uh, this is probably about eight feet away from me. I can hear it really well, but I wanted to see what the sound are like over the beacon. Um, this is the dolly track mode, which is probably one of my favorite modes of this drone. You can see I'm kind of just leading it by walking towards it. And like I said, you can adjust how you actually, um, where you lead it to. So you can see if I go this way, it will lean towards that way. So that's why you gotta just kind of know what you're doing. If you turn around, it will start tracking you. Start running. You can see it goes from dolly track to follow, which I like. But again, all I need to do is turn around. It will start um, tracking me from the front. And of course, to stop this, all you need to do is stay still for a couple seconds. And you can see it just stop recording. So that's the overview of the application, just a ton of features. This is gonna allow you to get to those advanced features that you may not have on the drone itself and just opens up so much more possibilities to get the results you need from this device. Now the power case has a built-in 12,000 milliamp power batteries that delivers up to two and a half full charges to your device, thus providing up to 40 additional minutes of flight time. So with this, it's portable so you can charge on the go. And the good thing about this is that it does have a USB port that charges the device, but also it acts as a power brick. So if you wanna use it to charge something additional, charge your phone, that option is there. There is an adapter removal tool to remove the charge and adapter. Now this adapter is needed because once that adapter is removed, you need to slide it into the USB-C port on your drone and the tool is there to help you remove it. However, I was able to easily get it in and out with my fingers. Once you place the charge and adapter into the drone, the USB-C port, line it up to the charging point on the power case and just slide it in and close it and it will automatically start charging. Now the hover will automatically enter sleep mode after 60 seconds of no activity. Now once the charging is complete, simply take it out, short press the power button to wake up the device and you're ready to start flying again. I know for me this comes in handy because whenever I'm not using the drone, essentially it's being charged and if needed, I can have the charging hub additional with more batteries just to extend my flight time. So with all I said, that's gonna be my go-to drone from now on. This is very versatile and I love that it can do a little bit of everything. Now, big shout out to Hover Air for sending this out for me to review. As always, I'll leave a link in the description where you can pick it up. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.